Hey there, this is Anthony Metivier from MagneticMemoryMethod.com. I'm a little bummed out right now because I had a bad day at the gym. Or, eh, not a bad day, I guess. I went and did my stuff. But I had a lot of pain in my right hip while I was working on the squat rack and really didn't reach my goal at all. And, uh, yeah, it bummed me out. But uh, the thing is, is, it reminded me of something very interesting and important. And that has to do with memory because when you're in pain, you can't focus on information that you want to learn and memorize, or you can't focus on recalling information that you have already learned and memorized, and so it's difficult to reach. So we need to address the issue of pain if we want to get better memory abilities, because it is so often in the way of our memory performance. And really what it comes down to is living properly, so to speak, um, eating well, sleeping well, being properly hydrated, and exercising. And, you know, if you are in a pain situation like I am with uh, psoriasis arthritis, when you're exercising, exercising, but knowing when to stop, because I didn't want to stop. And uh, my trainer noticed, you know, oh, wait, what's going on? And I told him in German, well, there's like a knife in my hip. And uh, then he said, no, 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 no more. Um, so we proceeded to do some uh, hanging exercises instead from the uh, from the chin-up bar, which was fine, but it wasn't what was scheduled. Anyway, the thing is, and here's what's really important about health, is that there's a catch-all thing that we have in our society, that if you look at the statistics for people in a certain age group or whatever, then this is what you should be doing, or uh, a lot of generalizations. The reality is, however, is that each person is a distinct unit, and so you want to treat yourself as a distinct unit, and that requires some personal testing. Now there are, just as in memory techniques, there are universal principles such as creating crazy images using location-based mnemonics and practicing recall in a particular way. These are universal principles, but each person needs to go through them in a very personal way, seeing how that they work with your daily schedule, with what it is you're exactly trying to memorize, and, and uh, all these things that are unique to you. You need to modify things, you know? And uh, same thing with health. You want to do some testing. So one of the most important and powerful things that I ever did is to put myself on a food grid and test for food sensitivities. And I actually had blood drawn and ran 96 trials on my blood to figure out all the food sensitivities and uh, was able to reduce a lot of pain. I mean, there was six weeks, uh, a little bit more than six weeks actually, where I wasn't walking and uh, really grotesque things were happening with my skin as my body was trying to eject toxins and so forth. And uh, every once in a while I have uh, a little outbreak. One of the reasons why recently that I've had this pain is because I was experimenting with eating steak again. And I'm not supposed to be eating red meat, but you experiment once in a while and uh, I paid the price for that. But nonetheless, the point is, is that experimentation is key based on you as a person. So if you can go get tailor-made uh, uh, readouts of what's going on in your body, all the better. You don't necessarily need a blood test. You can do a spreadsheet analysis. Write down what you ate, when you ate it, and start tracking the outcomes. You need a 72 hour window to really start breaking things down, but you can reduce things. And this is not medical advice in any uh, sense whatsoever. But if you want to then test it against your memory, which I have done a lot of work with and am preparing uh, something about this now, you then do memory drills based on what you've eaten and when you've eaten it. So I did bulletproof coffee memory drills, for example, and it was very, very exciting. Uh, to to do that and, and split test and see what happens at that time of day without bulletproof coffee and at a particular time of day with it and how things progress throughout the day and it, 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 it's quite exciting to to use yourself as a sort of laboratory but the key thing is is pain and suffering get in the way of paying attention and so the memory techniques are great they're fantastic they are absolutely an amazing advantage no matter how much pain you have in your body but your ability to use them increases the less pain that you have because you want to be focused you want to be present you want to be aware and you want to be conscious with the information that you're trying to memorize so that's 
basically just a little tip for you is get pain out of your life and you will already have a better memory and you will have a much much better time using memory techniques when you don't have pain standing between how you use memory techniques and how that you have an advantage from uh, not having pain between you and paying attention in the first place. So uh, I hope that gives you uh, something to work on. You can use a Google Doc and if you have a really cool doctor you can share that Google Doc or a Google spreadsheet with your doctor and uh, they will maybe give you some comments. Anyway, lots of stuff. Just search N equals one experimentation and you'll learn a lot about how to be your own scientist. And uh, again, not medical advice, run it past your doctor, but uh, you can add, if you're using a Google spreadsheet, a little column for your memory tests and see how you improve based on what you're eating and you know write in when you exercise and how all those things get into an advantage and uh, you'll never really have a bad day at the gym so long as you go and pay attention to what your body is telling you and uh, give it your best. So this has been Anthony from MagneticMemoryMethod.com. If you like this kind of stuff, click subscribe, press the share buttons, the like buttons, all that kind of stuff. If you don't like it, well, do whatever you do when you're a non-liker and uh, join the comments uh, below if you like and come to MagneticMemoryMethod.com because there's uh, more material like this there and a for free video series about creating a memory palace and using a memory palace to learn and memorize and recall anything with absolute ease and excitement and fun and uh, more stuff like this about health and there's a podcast that you can listen to if you're not the video watching kind all the time. So thank you and talk to you soon.